Hey guys, I'm Mikko and in this video we're gonna have two parts. The first part is going to be a painting process video and the second half I'm gonna show you my own technique of painting fog. And this is the fog painting technique that I have used in many different projects and in a lot of my own paintings. So it's something that I enjoy doing a lot. So I thought that maybe somebody else would also like to know the process of how I do this stuff. This is not the only way to paint fog, it's just my own personal way of doing them. So I thought if I share my technique, maybe there's something that you can incorporate the way that you paint. If you're here to just to learn how I paint fog, you can skip straight to this part of the video and I'm gonna give a timestamp in the description box below. I'm gonna shut up now so that the painting process can begin and I'm gonna meet you guys at the second part of this video where we are gonna get into the fog painting business. So now I want to add fog to this painting and I'm gonna do that by adding a layer here beneath all the trees and the monsters. So for a color I'm gonna pick something muted and this is going to look quite dark but it's going to be good for when I want to add highlights to it later. And as a brush I'm gonna use this oriental brush. So I'm gonna start by adding brush strokes to make sure that I have full opacity in this brush because it's already a soft brush. I don't need it to be at a lower opacity. 
And this is the part that I love about this technique, that I don't have to be too precise. I'm gonna use smudge by doing a long press and that changes my brush to the same brush that I am using for painting and that is the oriental brush. And I'm just gonna take away some of these very sharp edges that I see here. And I don't want to have these brush strokes at the edges of this piece because if those go overboard, the hard edges are going to be hard to control later. So now I'm gonna go to adjustments and press liquify. And with this liquify, I'm gonna put this twirl option on and use a smaller brush to add a little bit of these curls to my previous brush strokes. Now I'm going to add motion blur. So I'm gonna go to motion blur and drag a little bit to the right, making sure that those edges don't go over. Now I'm going to repeat the liquify process. So liquify and using the same small brush to add a little bit more of texture to this thing. This is kind of feel as you go type of a process, so just keep an eye on the type of shapes that you like. I'm gonna add this top layer, which is a duplicate of the previous layer, as a screen blend mode. And when it's in screen blend mode, I'm going to also set it as a clipping mask. So now that it's as a clipping mask, it's going to lighten only the parts that are below that layer. And I'm going to do another liquify and making sure that now I adjust every area of that layer. I don't have to worry about it going over because I know that the layer below it is set as the parent of this clipping mask. Now I'm going to merge it down and then duplicate this layer and then add another liquify effect on top of everything. So this process of duplicating the layers, it adds a lot of this sort of like swirly texture. I don't always repeat it this many times, but for this image I want it to be kind of spooky fog. So I want to have that sort of like hazy detail that kind of looks like it could be shapes in the mist, but it's just the fog swirling around. Okay, now I'm going to merge these two layers and then add a little bit of motion blur again. And this is going to just like unify those two layers that are going to di different directions because the wind is blowing at the same speed in this scene for both of these layers. Now some of these lines are too sharp because I only used motion blur. So I'm going to use Gaussian blur as well, just a little bit to soften those edges. And I think now it's beginning to look like something that I want to have in this piece. So I'm going to duplicate it once more. And this time I'm going to duplicate it and set it as a screen layer. And I'm gonna do this a few times. It's going to look a bit scary for a moment, but just hang on and it will all be clear in a second. So now I have this above screen layer duplicated and it's the exact same shape as the layer below it. So I'm adding a small Gaussian blur to kind of expand the edges of this high opacity layer and then do another duplication. And now I'm going to select the layer, but I'm not going to select this screen layer. I'm going to select the layer below it, this one in normal blend mode. I'm going to hit select and then I'm going to go back to the layer above and then hit clear. Now everything else was deleted, but those edges that were kind of bleeding out because of that Gaussian blur that I did. And I'm going to use this detail by making it a layer mask, hiding it from you. Now when I take the same oriental brush and a low opacity, I'm gonna carve out some of that detail back in. And I'm going to add this to only the top parts that are closer to this kind of moon in the sky. And that is going to give this illusion of light hitting the exact shape of this fog. And this is not that precise, but I just want to hint the direction of the moonlight here. And you can do a Gaussian blur to the 
layer mask as well. I like to use a bit of blur here too because I don't want those highlights to have hard brush strokes. So I'm gonna merge those two together and I'm going to use this screen layer for other purposes as well. I'm going to now duplicate it and then use warp tool. Not to copy it, but to adjust it in a shape that kind of hints at the same shape language as the previous layer for the other areas of fog. And this is not going to be as sharp because I'm going to set the opacity quite low. It's just going to be a little bit of volume, I think, to that layer. And I'm going to blur that a little bit more because it's not as important as the layer that I did earlier. Just to highlight the direction of the light a bit more, I'm going to duplicate that once more, add a mask, turn it black by inverting it, and then in that mask I'm going to bring out a little bit of light to the center of this image, where this moon is hitting that fog. And then to that layer mask I'm adding a bit of Gaussian blur, and this is just like a gradient of light hitting the middle of the screen, because I want there to be more contrast. Then I'm going to copy the normal blend mode fog layer and bring it to the front. And I don't want to cover these little spirits in the forest, so I'm going to just adjust the fog a little bit more. It's near the foreground, so I guess it should be a bit bigger in shapes. So if it's as detailed as the background, it's not going to look right to me. I just want it to look a bit bigger and like it's kind of hitting that round a bit too. I know that this looks scary right now, but I'm going to blur it a lot. Just because the detail isn't as visible in the foreground because it's very hazy. So maybe that looks about okay-ish and then very low opacity. Something like this, 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 <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna take the eraser and erase some parts of that fog, just because I don't like these little guys getting lost in the fog. That makes me sad, because I put so much effort into these <laughs> creature designs, clearly there's like blobs of blackness. Anyway, I don't want to hide them completely in fog. So I erased those a little bit, and this is how I create fog. I know that there are a lot of ways to create fog, but this is the process that I really enjoy. And I hope that some of you who watch this got some cool ideas on what you can do in your paintings now. And now all that is left is the color adjustments, and then this painting is going to be finished. That's my process of painting fog. If there's something else you'd like to see in this channel, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see more painting videos, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!